If you're still in contact with your ex after the breakup, watch this video because you still have a chance to get them back, but it's not gonna be the way that you think. So probably one of the ways that you're thinking is that if you can stay in contact with them somehow or another, they'll have a change of heart. You know, probably through, you know, your appeals to their emotion or sentiment, um, or at least if you're talking to them, they won't talk to some other guy or some other girl. And you're, you'll just be filling that slot and eventually they'll kind of change their mind. But what's really happening here is you're, you're just making this breakup super comfortable for them where they never have to go up without your companionship and they never really have to miss you because you're right there. So they get to have the freedom to go off and date other people and explore other options, but they do it from the highest place of comfort because they still get to talk to you in this little friend zone space, which is all they want because they broke up with you. But the reason why I say you can still get them back is because everything's so fresh after the breakup. And so the fact that you're still in contact with each other, the fact that you haven't pushed them away all the way to the point where they've forced space upon you, okay, that's a good thing because you can use these interactions to turn, to flip the dynamic and turn the tide to actually reattract them. This is really, really difficult because you know, if you've been walking on eggshells because you don't want to do any little thing that could kind of spoil it, you know, now you're going to come off as like really boring, really safe. Um, you're going to be trying to have rapport like way too hard. And if you think about, you know, what this means when you're single, imagine it's, it's really like the symptom of the nice guy, right? If the nice guy walks up to the hot girl and he's like not saying anything to like make her mad, she can sense that he's weak. Right. And if you're doing the same thing with your ex where you don't say anything that would stir the pot and you're just like walking on eggshells, you're not going to be able to reattract them. So you got to be able to speak your mind and let shit land wherever it does. And they may like it. They may not. But it doesn't matter because you're still being a person. Sometimes you're going to get blowback, you know, sometimes that you're going to say something they don't like and they're going to lash out. But because you're not together, you don't have to shoulder their negative emotions. You can actually just introduce more space, pull away, and wait for that to blow over. And eventually, with a certain amount of time of not hearing from you, they'll end up coming back around. Everything that you say matters because it's either advancing you in the direction of attraction or not. Okay, and if you're playing it safe, it's definitely not. So you got to be playful. You want to treat them like a bratty little sister or bratty little brother. Some of the things that you're doing and saying is going to feel risky. And guess what? If you're not actually willing to lose this person, you will never get them back. You've got to play hardball. And you got to put some oomph behind your words. And no matter what you do or say or how it's received, you're always willing to back that up with enough time and space in between of not hearing from that person to be respected. And if you want some help dealing with your person and navigating this breakup, click on my profile, click this link down here and get connected with me.